Don and Gavin, thanks a lot for joining us again here. Let's talk about the Gypsy Mafia here. Right, and this is, I mean, this, this was a tough one, guys. I know there was a lot of disappointment in this episode. But I think part of it is because of how crazy the world of the Gypsy Mafia is. And so we'd love to hear a little bit on that and kind of what you guys ran into. You know, I've been to some rough and tough locations. You know, Gavin has as well. We thought, you know, we're going to a civilized country. You know, how bad can it be? We didn't expect what we were going to end up going up against. I mean, that is a whole nother world. It was completely outside my comfort zone. Put me in a jungle or a desert any day of the week. But, you know, dealing with these guys was uh, was very tense. How did you go, man? Drive, 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 drive. Wait, Tom, you have a car when you drove off, man. I almost, you almost lost me. There's a reason. I thought they were going to steal the car with me in it. How often do you get in that situation where you've overbid? And, and when did you know you were kind of in, in some deep trouble here? I mean, I think that gemstone got the better of me. I know that gems like that are priceless and collectors will pay fortunes for them. I knew that if I could just get that stone, that I could make the money that all of us need. I got obsessed. I mean, that stone was evil. It got me. Jesus, Don. It's $100,000, which we don't have. We talked about this, 450,000 is what we had. And when Joe, because this happens to me too, when a show comes in like this, I know it's hard to say in front of these guys, where there is a lot of disappointment, what goes through your mind? We want success, right? You want real, but real life isn't all successes. And at the end of the day, we saw how complicated and raw this world can get. And it allowed us to see that side of the business. And, and for me, it actually, I mean, look, if Don and his team won every single time, eventually I'd have to assume that the, 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 you know, the deck is stacked. But in fact, it's not. And we happen to be there for one of those losses. Brazil, it's too late. The stone and the money is gone. Only 30 minutes. Too late. Six, not six and a half. At the end of the day, it shows just how, how real everything is and, and you know what they stand to lose. So you said before that you were blown away with, you know, how difficult Romania was. But I also, um, you know, th the things that you guys had to eat there were pretty surprising as well, right? You know, the food was pretty strange in Romania. I never thought I'd been eating bear up. <laughs> you ate bear ass. We ate bear ass, yes. We Let's ate just bear say ass. it. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> That's bear ass. Like pretty close. <laughs> yep. I'll have a piece of that ass. That's great. All right, so I guess next week, Zoltanite appears in the Turkey episode. Is that correct? We're going to see that Zoltanite lives in Turkey. And uh, when these guys are in the ground in Turkey, they, they find some pretty strong leads. That, that yeah. leads, to a, it leads to a good win. All right, guys, we'll be here next week to talk about Turkey after uh, the episode and find out what did not make it into the show. Thanks a lot.